The PCB board used in this project is sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create a high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make the most efficient password protected door lock security system using Arduino and a keypad. When you enter the correct four digit password, the door is opened for five seconds. Currently, the password is 1234, which you can change in the programming. You can even select a password consisting of more than eight digits. I have checked this password door lock security system many times and it worked perfectly. If a wrong password is entered three times, the person is locked out for five seconds and an LED is turned on which can be replaced with a buzzer. The number of wrong attempts can be increased or decreased as per the requirement. In this episode, we will cover number 1. 4 into 4 keypad pinout. Number 2. How the electronic lock works. Number 3. Complete circuit diagram. Number 4. Arduino programming and finally number 5 testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The electronic lock working principle is just like the relay. It has a coil which can be energized and de-energized. We need 12 volts to control this electronic lock. As you can see by connecting and disconnecting these two wires, I can control the electronic lock. These two wires will be connected with the relay common and normally open legs. This is a 4 into 4 keypad which means this keypad has a total of 4 rows and 4 columns. But in this project, I'm not using the 4th column. As you can see, the keypad is provided with the female headers, due to which it can be easily interfaced with the Arduino using the male headers or male-to-male -male type jumper wires. The first one is the row 1. The second one is the row 2, row 3, row 4, column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4. This is the complete circuit diagram of the password protected door lock security system designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. A link is given in the description. Let's start with the 4 into 4 keypad. Row number 1 is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A0. Row number 2 is connected with the analog pin A1, row 3 with A2, row 4 with A3, column 1 with A4, column 2 with A5, column 3 with Arduino's digital pin 2 and column number 4 is not connected. Pin number 1 and pin number 16 are connected with the Arduino's ground. Pin number 2 and pin number 15 are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. Pin number 3 is the contrast pin of the 16 into 2 LCD and is connected with the middle leg of the variable resistor or potentiometer. While the other two legs of the variable resistor are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 10. The read write pin is connected with the ground. The enable pin is connected with the Arduino's pin number 9. The data pins D4 to D7 of the LCD are connected with the Arduino's pin number 6, 5, 4 and 3. An LED is connected with the Arduino's pin number 12 through a 330 
ohm resistor. This is a current limiting resistor. A one channel relay module is connected with the Arduino spin number 13. This relay is used to control the electronic lock. As you can see the electronic lock 12 volts wire is connected with the common pin of the relay while the normally open pin of the relay is connected with the 12 volts. While the ground wire of the electronic lock is directly connected with the ground of the 12 volts power supply. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB for the 16 inch 2 LCD. This PCB is manufactured by the PCB company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. All we bake of the soldering. As you can see, it looks amazing. Now I can easily interface this LCD with the Arduino board using mail to mail type jumper wires. All the connections are done as per the circuit diagram already explained. For more details, read article available on electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. I started off by adding libraries for the keypad and 16 into 2 LCD. Next I defined the maximum number of rows and columns. Then I defined a two dimensional array with keys information. The rows are connected with the Arduino's analog pins A0, A1, A2 and A3 while the columns are connected with A4 a5 and pin number 2 of the Arduino. The RS pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 10. Enable pin is connected with pin number 9. D4 is connected with 6. D5 is connected with 5. D6 is connected with 4. And D7 pin of the LCD is connected with the Arduino's pin number 3. Initialize the library with the numbers of the interface pins. The current password is 1234 which you can replace with any other password. The variable my password is used to store the password which is entered using the keypad. An LD is connected with the Arduino pin number 12 and the electronic lock is connected with the digital pin 13 of the Arduino. Counter is a variable of the type integer and it is used to count the number of keys pressed which helps me set the LCD cursor. The variable attempts is used to store the number of wrong attempts while the maximum number of wrong attempts is equal to 3. In the white setup function I activated the serial communication for the debugging purposes. Set up the LCD's number of columns and rows. The LED and electronic lock are set as the output using the pin mode function. Turn off the LED and electronic lock using the digital write function and finally printed the enter password message on the LCD. Then start the while loop function. As you can see the while loop function has only one function which is the keypad function. The keypad function is a user defined function which has no return type and does not take any argument as the input. The get key function is used to read the pressed key and is stored in the variable key. This condition means if the key is pressed then simply send it to the serial monitor for the checking purposes. Increment the counter by 1 and use the counter to update the cursor. If 1 is pressed then add 1 to the my password, if 2 is pressed then add 2 to the my password and so on for all the keys. If the asterisk key is pressed then compare the password entered with a predefined password. If both the passwords are same then print welcome to electronic clinic on the LCD. Open the door, wait for 5 seconds and again close the door. Empty the my password and counter variables. Clear the LCD, set the LCD cursor and write enter password on the LCD. Else, if a wrong password is entered, lock the door, 
means do nothing. Increment the attempts variable if the number of wrong attempts are greater than or equal to the value stored in the max underscore attempts variable then clear the LCD type logged out on the LCD turn on the LED for 5 seconds and finally set the attempts variable equal to 0 and finally some messages to the LCD which reminds you of the maximum wrong attempts the circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.